insects, huh? Well, it is fall, I guess. Hard to believe I've already been here half a year. The festival used to seem so far off. Now it's just next month. <sighs> the past six months really have flown by. Huh? Is that you, Rain? Hey there. I haven't seen you out and about too much lately. <laughs> well, the meeting I was in ended a little early. So I thought that was a nice point to call it a day. I see. Did you guys discuss the Academy Festival? Yep. We've still got a lot we need to nail down before next month to keep the preparations ready. There's enough to discuss that we're actually meeting again tomorrow. <laughs> Sounds like work's really keeping you busy, then. By the way, have you figured out what you'd like me to help you with tomorrow? I'll even take the tasks now if you have them handy. Oh, I usually sort those out before I go to bed. Hmm, I guess I could go over them now, but there's some shopping I really need to do. Sorry, is it okay if I get them to you tomorrow morning like usual? That's totally fine. to tell you, and I'm sorry it's taken me so long to say it, but I want you and everyone from Class 7 to know how grateful I am for what you did at Corellia Fortress. Oh. It's fine, really. We've gotten plenty of rounds of thanks for it already. We just kind of ended up in the wrong place at the right time. We were lucky the instructors were there, and... That doesn't change the fact that you saved my life. I wasn't on the same floor where the conference was being held. But if a shot from the railway guns had hit Orcus Tower, I doubt I'd be standing here today. Toa, I'm just glad you're safe. <laughs> Thanks. Anyway, I feel like I'm just kind of babbling on and repeating myself now. So I'll stop myself here. Huh. She's awfully conscientious, isn't she? You said you were on your way out to do some shopping, right? Is there a lot on your list? Well, a pretty good amount, I suppose. Oh, and I just remembered I need to pick up that stuff at the bookstore, too. Hmm. Then after I get everything I need at the general store, I might have to make a trip back here to drop it off. You could do that. Or I could come along with you and help carry all those bags. So how about it? No strings. I just feel like you could use a hand. Uh, oh no, there's no way I could drag you along on all my errands. I mean, sure, it'd be a big help, but I just feel so bad asking you to do it. Ugh, that makes it sound like deep down I secretly want you to come, and that's not... <laughs> well... If it eases your conscience, there's actually something I need your advice on. It's about my class and what we can do for the upcoming festival. should be everything. Wow, is it 
this late already? I guess the sun has started setting a little earlier lately. Still, I had no idea you came here often. Well, Mick is always able to get stuff you can't buy anywhere else. He's my go-to guy when there's something I can't get at the Academy store. Like fireworks to use in school events. I think we even asked him for a penguin costume once, and he actually got it. Yeah, it sounds like you have a pretty unique shopping list. Uh-huh. Wait! Pen, how did you end up with all those bags? Oh no, I'm so sorry. Here, give me some of those. Don't worry about it, I'm fine. You're carrying plenty as it is. We take a break in the rest area over there. I'll buy you a coffee or something. You wanted to ask me something about the Academy Festival too, right? Ooh, yeah. That does sound like a problem. Well, your class doesn't have enough people to do anything that involves large-scale equipment or decorations. You all could get together and run a little cafe without any problems, if you all wanted to do something like that. I'd thought about it, yeah. Still, if we're going to do something, I at least want it to be as impressive as what the other classes are doing. <laughs> Feeling a little competitive, aren't we, Rain? Well, you have enough people to put on a play or run a game tournament. But other first-year classes have already applied to do both of those. I see. I don't really want to copy an idea another class is already doing. Come to think of it, what did your class do last year? Oh, it was a cat-themed coffee shop where we all wore cat suits. And then there was that other event I did with Angie and the others. Oh, you guys got together and did something else too? Venom, and even if we did, it wouldn't have been on stage. <laughs> I think you just let the cat out of the bag. So, you guys did do something on stage? What exactly was it? Uh, me and my big mouth. You really want to know? If you don't mind telling me anyway. Who knows? It might help me think of something Class 7 could do. If you insist, I can't turn down a chance to help a sweet, fledgling first year, especially after how much you helped me. I'll reach down to my toes and muster every last bit of courage to tell you. Th thanks Was it some kind of traumatic experience or something? Well, in short, we put on a musical performance. A little concert of sorts, you could say. Wow, really? I wouldn't have expected that from you guys. So you can play an instrument then? <laughs> I am afraid not. That's how I got stuck being the singer. Angie, Crow, and George all played for the show, though. Wow, that actually sounds like it'd be a lot of fun. Hmm. If we put on a musical show, I'm sure Elliot would be a big help. So what kind of music was it? Classical? Folk? Show tunes? Well, it's hard to describe, but it was passionate. Really modern. I'm not sure I get what you mean. <laughs> well, it's not really a genre that's caught on in the Empire yet. You definitely wouldn't hear it played in Heimdall's Opera House, that's for sure. Huh? some free time tomorrow evening? If you can't come until after you're done exploring the old schoolhouse, that's okay with me. Tomorrow evening? Yeah, I should be free. Should I meet you in the student council room? Oh no, can you go to the computer room in the main school building? Sure thing. Does this have something to do with the concert you held last year? <laughs> You'll just have to find out tomorrow night.
keep asking favors of me, but would you mind coming to the lower class dormitory with me? If we stay out here much longer, we're going to miss dinner at the dorms. <laughs> you have a point. But really, I'm fine with all the bags. Just leave the heavy lifting to me. <sighs> You're so stubborn. Huh? Doesn't sound like she's here yet. Oh. <sighs> At least she's getting some rest. Must be a rare treat for her. What to do, though? I'd almost feel bad about waking her. Must be really tired. I should let her sleep a while longer. Oh, right. There we go. I guess I'll just read a book or something while I'm waiting. was over. So this jacket is... Oh no! I'm so sorry! I can't believe I fell asleep after asking you to come all the way here! <laughs> Don't worry about it. You're doing me a favor here. I appreciate you taking the time out of your schedule for me. Aww. Why is it that you always seem to catch me at the weirdest moments? Still, thanks. No problem. Glad to do what I can. It wasn't too hot, was it? No, of course not. It felt really nice and warm. But, but anyway, th that's not the point. Now, listen here, Reen. Huh? I, I mean, lending me your jacket was very sweet and gentlemanly of you, and I'm kind of happy you did. But it's not very gentlemanly to sit and stare at a girl when she's sleeping, you know. Uh, I'm sorry? You were sleeping so peacefully that it seemed almost wrong to wake you up. But I guess it was inconsiderate of me to just let you nap there. No, 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 no! I'm not annoyed with you. It's just kind of weird to randomly watch people sleep, you know? If it was someone else, they might have misunderstood. Oh, you mean the one you did with Angelica, Crow, and George? Do you have some record of it here? <laughs> Actually, I do. George was testing out some kind of horrible video camera that was being developed by the Ruhr Institute of Technology. And we've still got the recording here. An horrible video camera? Yeah, the technology is different from what they use for the horrible net. Actually, it's probably faster to just show you. Let me bring it up on the screen. Oh, you've got pictures of it. <laughs> More than just pictures. Just watch. Amazing. I know, right? It plays back images and sound at the same time. So it's like a radio and a camera combined. The quality might be a bit rough, but it really feels like you're right there, doesn't it? <laughs> it's really something else. <laughs> Wow. Isn't it cool? It's called Rock. It's making a splash in the music scene abroad. 
They use Orbal audio technology to amplify guitars for it. It's a pretty bold sound, huh? It definitely is. And, uh, speaking of bold, how about that outfit? Uh, I forgot about the outfit! D don't look at that, just focus on the performance! This is... Bravo! That was incredible! I wish I could have been there to see it in person. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Um, so was that any help? Help? This is exactly what I was looking for. I'm not sure if we can put together something as flashy as this, but we do have Elliot, and he knows his music, so I think we might have a chance. I'm glad to hear it. Carl was the one who planned all of this out, so he's the one you should ask about how to put a program like this together. Angie did our choreography, and George got all the instruments together for us. I'm sure they'd help out if you asked. I think I just might. We have to get our preparations for the festival underway. Oh, I put a copy of the video onto this memory cords for you, too. If you put this memory cords into the Orbal projector here, you can watch the video anytime you want. Maybe you can bring everyone from your class here and show it to them tomorrow. Yeah. Thanks for everything, Toa. I mean, I asked you for help, but you really went above and beyond. I don't really know how to thank you. You're always looking out for me, Reen. It's the least I could do. Besides, I'm sure this idea will spark some... lively discussion within your class. It's not a done deal yet. But I'm really curious to see how things turn out. Me too.
can't wait to see the looks on their faces when they see it. Though, I imagine Toa's outfit might raise more than a few questions, too. Oh, it's nine already? Abin time should be on soon. I'm Misty, and this is Radio Trista. It's 9 p.m. on the 19th of the ninth month. <laughs> if only I was dressed to the nines to match. It feels like we're finally getting the break we deserve from a long string of uncomfortably humid nights. That's right, fall is finally here, and it's brought its cool night breezes and gentle chirping of insects with it. Along with that respite, Erebonians everywhere are turning to their true autumn passions, food, and sports. What do all of you out there look forward to when you realize fall's almost here? For me, it's definitely the food. The crops come into season, ready for the harvest. I can only imagine how much work it has to be for all those farmers. But I can't wait for my first roasted chestnuts of the season. It's just about time for those to start popping up too. Sure, I'll never turn down a Marin Glacé or a Mont Blanc, but roasted is the way chestnuts were meant to be. Ah, <sighs> that soft, melt-in-your-mouth taste, that sweet fragrance, simply irresistible. Whoops, the director's over there giving me the stink eye. Someone hasn't eaten dinner yet, I'll bet. Anyway, fall is also known for being a season for the arts. One of the Empire's most popular cultural institutions is the opera, and no one does opera like Heimdall's famous opera house. But as far as music goes, I'm a sucker for the classics. I still sing along whenever I hear the whereabouts of light. I stare in disbelief as you fade away Like a dimming star beneath the coming day <laughs> Whoa there, almost felt like I was in my shower back home. Speaking of music, some fresh new genres have been gaining popularity lately, both at home and abroad. She really does have a pretty voice. Though I guess you kind of have to in order to be a big opera singer like that. I don't know if singing on the air like that is such a good idea if she's trying to keep her identity under wraps, though. We've got a practical exam coming up next week, then another field study over the weekend. Sounds like things are going to be even busier than usual. I'd better brace myself for an exhausting week.
in the following weeks. It was hard to tell how much the Empire's situation was shifting, but one thing was certain. Changes were happening. With the death of their ringleaders, the Imperial Liberation Front's campaign of terror was finally over. And in recognition of our actions in Ruhr and at Corellia Fortress, all of us in Class 7 were invited to Valflame Palace. There, we were granted the honor of an audience with His Majesty the Emperor, Eugene, along with Empress Priscilla, the mother of Princess Alphen and Crown Prince Cedric. But no sooner had we been thanked than we came face to face with the leaders of the factions that divided the nation. The heads of the four great houses who rule their vast provinces with absolute authority. And the Chancellor and his close ally, Governor Regnitz, who brought reforms to Heimdall and expanded the railways. Both sides were quick to offer us words of praise, but just as quickly turned to criticize each other's role in the crisis. Eventually, His Majesty was forced to step in and rebuke both sides, clearly disgusted by their behavior. As it stood, the terrorists' defeat made it difficult for their supposed supporters in the noble faction to act openly. While Crossbell's push for independence was causing enough of a stir over there to keep the reformists busy. With both sides tied up, it looked like the Empire was in for a long overdue respite from its perpetual conflict. We'd finally gotten all the details for our concert performance worked out, and Elliot announced that we'd be doing two songs, a duet between Machias and Eusis, and a solo by Emma. To no one's surprise, all three of them were quick to raise objections. But after Crow and Elliot explained their choices, and how their master plan would win over the audience, the rest of the class was totally on board, leaving our new vocalists to resign themselves to the inevitable. Unfortunately, with the good times came some sad news as well. It turned out that Marquis Rogner was furious at Angelica for her part in what we did at the mine, and as a result, she was forced to leave the academy. Contrary to the official statement, her withdrawal was to be permanent. Before she left, she asked me if I'd look after the orbital bike for her. At first, I didn't want to. It felt like I'd be accepting that she'd be gone. But after thinking it over, I finally agreed. With so much going on, we decided to take Prince Oliver up on his proposal of a brief vacation north in Ymir. It proved to be quite an eventful trip, and it really drove home just how much we'd come to mean to each other. I'd tell you all about it, but we'd be here for hours. Maybe another time. Anyway. I have your attention, please. It's another great day. Perfect weather to start bringing all your great festival ideas to life. Some of you have been preparing since last month, and some even longer. I know you're all itching to get started. So without further ado, I hereby declare the first day of festival preparation begun. Time to start setting up. We have today and tomorrow. But try not to leave any work until tomorrow night, unless you really have to. All right, everyone, let's do this and stay safe out there.
Hello, Reed Schwarzer speaking. Yo, it's me. Oh, hey, Crow. Is something wrong? It's not like you to call out of the blue. Well, we've run into a bit of a problem. Turns out our outfits for the concert will be arriving late. They said the earliest they can get them delivered is sometime tomorrow morning. That's not great. I mean, it'll be hard to do tonight's dress rehearsal without the actual dress. My thoughts exactly. But don't you worry, though. I'm just as crafty as I am handsome, so I've got a plan. Wanna head out and pick them up for us in person? Uh, Crow, I think the two of us need to go over the definition of plan sometime. <sighs> you ordered them from a boutique in Heimdall, didn't you? Yeah, someone over there's putting the finishing touches on them right now. They'll be done by this evening, so our whole delivery problem is solved if you just head over there. I do it myself, but I've got some stuff I need to get done. Got it. I'll take care of it. I'll head to the station right now. Wouldn't want to miss the train on something this time sensitive. Whoa there, the train? Come on, man. Don't tell me you forgot about Jellica's parting gift. Oh. You're right. It'd probably be faster to get to Heimdall by bike than by train. Okay, bike it is. Besides, if I cut down on my travel time, I can put more work into the festival. <laughs> Even when I give you something cool to do, you find a way to make it dorky. Oh yeah, uh, you should take someone with you too. You're bringing 11 outfits back here, and that's not exactly going to be easy on your own. That's true. It'll be a lot easier with the sidecar too. Okay, leave it to me. Cheers. Okay, I guess I've got a little more wiggle room to help out around here. I'll head to the engineering club to ask George to lend me the bike once I'm done. someone else along to give me a hand. I'm not sure how busy everyone is, though. Let's see. Who should I try asking first? All right. Might as well see if they're free. Hey, it's Reed. I've got a little favor to ask. of the engine reminds me of a lion's fur. It's very pleasant. <laughs> I was thinking of it as a steel horse, but lion sounds cooler. Anyway, are you sure you have the time to come out with me? The swimming club was supposed to be helping set up the gymnasium, right? <laughs> We've already finished, so there's no need to worry. Besides, I'm curious about just what sort of outfits you've designed for us. Really? I have to admit, I didn't expect to hear that from you. Well, my curiosity stems from the other girl's concerns. I'm hoping that I won't have to draw my sword today, but should these prove too revealing? That won't be necessary, I'm sure. Though, if it is, at least my last memory will be a happy one. <laughs> I hope that's true, for both of our sakes. Sorry to make you kids come all this way to pick these up. I think you'll be pretty happy with the way they turned out, though. Fantastic! I can't wait to see them. Thank you very much for putting them together on such short notice. <laughs> this was no sweat compared to what Crow put me through last year. He had me working like a madman. Last year's concert was great, though, so you can bet that I'll be there to see if you kids can top that. Oh, by the way, are you the girl on drums? 
I can't imagine you'll have any trouble winning people over between the outfit and all the banging you'll be doing. Hmm. Green, should I trust the sinking feeling in my stomach? Well, I'll let you be the judge of that when we get back. Something wrong, Reen? This might not be the best place to get lost in thought. <laughs> oh, sorry. I was distracted by a strange bird sitting on that lamppost. Strange how? I've never seen a bird with feathers that color before. It was a really deep blue, almost like lapis lazuli. Huh, that certainly is strange. A city this large is the last place you'd expect to find some exotic bird. I wonder what it was. What do we have here? The... I mean, Misty. Oh? It's been a while, hasn't it, Rain? Thanks for not using my real name. If people here in the capital were to overhear you, I'd be drowning in fans in no time flat. <laughs> sure. Mum's the word. Fancy meeting you here, though. I assume you're here to shop? You guessed it. This store does have a branch in Trista, but this one has a much better selection. What about you? Why are you lugging two suitcases around? <laughs> mm. You two getting a jump start on a romantic weekend getaway? Uh, of course not. We're merely here to take care of some business. L let me explain. Wow, concert, huh? Sounds like a blast. I'd love to drop by the festival and see it myself. Hmm, I might be able to go if I can free up a bit of space in my schedule. <laughs> It'd be great to have you. Although I can't imagine a professional like you would be terribly impressed. Oh, don't be silly. Great music comes from the heart. Whoops, lost track of the time. I better get going. Well, bye for now. Be sure to tune in tomorrow. Of course, I always do. That woman was the opera singer we met on our field study here, wasn't she? Why were you calling her Misty? Well, you see... Oh, she hosts a radio program, does she? Given how captivating her voice is, I'm impressed that nobody has drawn the connection between her two identities. <laughs> it took me a while to notice, too. But one thing is strange. Tomorrow's Friday, right? They only broadcast Aben time on Sundays. Hmm. It's possible that she's making an appearance on another program. Maybe. Anyway, we should head back to Trista. I'm sure everyone's waiting for us. Agreed. We need to try on our outfits today as well. Yeah, I can't wait to see how everyone looks in them. Reen, I'm sure I don't need to remind you. But should your designs prove too indecent, blood will be shed. They're fine, honestly. Probably.
These are actually really nice. Huh. They're a bit more revealing than I would have chosen, but at least the design itself is reasonably tasteful. Yep, not bad. And the black makes us look all classy, too. Oh, what am I even doing in this getup? Stunning. That's seriously hot. Oh, I knew I shouldn't have trusted the boys. I think it's perfect. And letting your hair down adds just the right amount of mystique. Nice work on the styling, Sharon. <laughs> Thank you, my lady. I think you all look beautiful. Wow. You all look even better than I was hoping. Well, you all look the part of dashing gentlemen yourselves. It seems like you took your inspiration from the traditional dress of the Imperial Court. You look like rejected princes from a children's book. But it kind of works. <laughs> I feel a little bad for you guys. Your uniforms don't have those little personal touches like ours do. Well, considering the time we had to work with, we had to settle for all us guys just wearing the same thing. Eh, no one's gonna care what the guys are wearing. It's better to bring out each girl's charms and let the boys just sort of fade into the background. That's called knowing your audience, boys and girls. <laughs> I see how it is. We're all different heights and have different hair colors, so I think we're better off with a standardized look. I'm no stranger to cuffs, epaulets, and overdone embroidery. But it looks preposterous to see you wearing such finery, even if it is just a costume. Hey, I didn't ask for this! What sane man would want to dress like a noble? Besides, I hope you haven't forgotten that we'll be singing in these outfits, together. Sadly, despite my earnest attempts, I haven't. All right, are you ready to practice the night away? We've only got a day and a half left, and that's if you include today. No time to waste. And that's why none of us are leaving this building until we can do a perfect run through of our whole set. I don't think he's going to take no for an answer. You're like a drill sergeant when it comes to music. I hope you're not starting to take after Nightheart. Uh, we're not sleeping tonight, are we? <laughs> I'll be sure to bring you all a nourishing dinner later this evening. That's not the problem here. Well, I suppose there's not much more we can do than buckle down and give it our best shot. Fine. I suppose I'll just have to cast my shame to the wind and go through with it. It's not like I want to wear an outfit like this, but I might never get a chance again, so come on, Emma! Just grin and bear it! Oh no! I think we broke Emma! Maybe we ought to leave her be for a while. <sighs> yeah! We did it! That was our best yet. I feel like we were really giving everything we had with that one. Oh, I need a rest. The only question now is whether we can do that in front of a hall full of people. Don't worry, we'll be fine. We prepared as much as we can. It's all in the goddess's hands now. <laughs> Maybe you're right. But when you put it that way, it sounds like no matter how much work we put in, it all comes down to luck in the end. If that's the case, we'll just have to coerce luck into staying on our side. <laughs> nice work, guys. I think we're right where we want to be. You play like you did just now for the actual concert, and we'll be golden. Thanks for all your help, Crawl. If you're satisfied, I think our audience will be too. <sighs> what time is it even? Only 3 p.m. Wow, I thought it was evening already. <laughs> well, no one could accuse us of not being focused enough. I just want to go back to the dormitory and bury my face in my pillow. Rest? Oh, no, 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 no. No time for that now. See, the best concerts always have two aces in the hole. An unexpected surprise and an encore. Now that we've finally got the basics down, we can try pulling off something that'll pave our road to victory. What? Surprises? An encore? What? Please, tell me you're just kidding. You are, right? Wait, we're not seriously doing that. I thought you were just joking. 
Now, hold on just a minute. You aren't seriously suggesting that we add another song, are you? Ding, ding! He can be taught! Don't worry your pretty little heads, though. As soon as you hear what I've got in mind, you'll be all in on this. I've got a nice, simple tune in mind that everyone's heard, and most people probably even know the lyrics. Anyway, we haven't got much time to prep, so how about we get right down to business? Uh, you're a slave driver. Hang in there, Emma. Uh, I think Crow is more fired up about this than anyone else. Even me. He's taking us on a ride one way or another, so we might as well just strap ourselves in.
awake but my body is exhausted. I guess at least a good night's rest will take care of the fatigue. At this point, all I can do is just pour everything I've got into the concert. Hmm. Wasn't there a music program that runs around this time? I could use something to wind down. I don't feel like reading and there's not much else going on this late on a Friday night. Guess I'll just relax till bedtime. I know I'll be showing Elise around on the second day of the festival, so the only day I'll be roaming around on my own is tomorrow. If I get the chance, maybe I should meet up with some of the others to see what all of the other classes are doing. Huh? Testing, testing, one, two, three. Wait, we're already live? <clears throat> Excuse me? We interrupt your regularly scheduled broadcast to bring you this special news bulletin. This afternoon, Crossbell State issued a Declaration of Independence. This declaration was issued by the state government based on a recent referendum and carries no legal authority whatsoever. The Imperial government has issued an official statement that they refuse to accept the declaration as valid. And the president of the Calvert Republic, which also claims authority over the state, has made a similar statement. In spite of this, Crossbell's Mayor Croix has declared that the country will act as an independent state going forward, as well as announced the establishment of the Crossbell Defense Force, raising tensions both at home and abroad. Whoa! Students and visitors, thank you very much for your patience. Without further ado, I hereby declare the 127th Thor's Military Academy Festival open. Enjoy yourselves today and have a wonderful time.
Then let us begin our duel. Please draw a card. <laughs> then I'll make the first move. Divine Bolt! We're evenly matched. Let's redraw. We're evenly matched. Let's redraw. <laughs> then I'll make the first move. Divine Bolt! Mirror! <laughs> well played! I didn't expect that! An excellent duel! Shall we begin? Please draw a card. Looks like I go first. I'm using a bolt. Oh my, I should have been more careful. Now then, how will you react to this? Oh my, I should have been more careful. I'm using a bolt.
forward. Only just begun.
the Academy Festival is nearly over. Thank you for coming today, everyone. I hope you'll join us for our second day of festivities. And for all of you prepping tonight for tomorrow's attractions, good luck. And try not to overexert yourself.
Sorry for keeping you waiting. Oh, Rain. Is something the matter? You look awfully tired. Did something happen? <laughs> you can tell, huh? I was running all over yesterday. Mainly rehearsals for a concert today and some other tests last night. Tests? During the festival? My, they certainly don't go easy on you here. Maybe you should go get some rest. You have your concert coming up this afternoon after all. I can look around on my own just fine. Though, well, honestly, if you're not feeling well, I'd rather take care of you. It's nothing to worry yourself over, really. <sighs> ah, I got enough sleep last night to keep me going strong today. If I tried to rest now, it might actually sap my energy. Besides, you came all the way out from Heimdall to visit. I'd rather spend the day with you instead. I can only hang out till noon, though. After that, we've got our final prep for the concert. Green. <laughs> well, if you insist. If you want to keep me company that much, I'd be happy to oblige. <laughs> what should we see first, then? Hmm. Oh, maybe we can start with Class 2's Indoor Garden. How's that sound? We walked around the academy together, and I showed her all of the different attractions on display. I took Elise around on a grand tour of the festival. We stopped by all the big class attractions, bumped into a lot of my classmates and their families, and even ran into instructor Sarah in a couple second years. By the time we'd finished seeing everything and chatting with everyone, the morning was nearly over. Celestine's out enjoying the festivities, too. I believe you are a son of the High Arms family. Lady Elise, you're looking simply splendid today. I was hoping you might be able to make it. How utterly heartless of you to not tell me she'd be visiting. Is that any way to treat your bosom buddy? Your dear friend? Sorry, uh, Wait, when did we become dear friends? A good day to you, Master Reen. And you must be his younger sister, who I've heard so much about. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Lee Schwarzer. It's good to see you well, Lord Patrick. Please, please. There's no need for such formalities between us. Just call me Patrick. Ah, I know. Why don't we take this opportunity to stroll the campus together? Schwarzer, <laughs> what are you doing? What problem could you possibly have with my taking this chance to foster good relations between our families? See, that's all well and good, but Elise hasn't made her debut into high society quite yet. Which means it's her brother's duty to shoo away the unwanted pests. Green? 
Must you always be such a tyrant when it comes to your sister? <laughs> Come along, Master Patrick. It would be unseemly to disrupt such a beautiful display of familial dedication. There are still preparations to be made for the operetta, so I suggest we depart to tend to those soon. A bell? Oh, that's the noon chime. Is it really that late already? Uh, I suppose I must turn away empty-handed for now. But I hope you're prepared, Schwarzer. When this day is over, we'll know without a doubt which of our classes is the greater. Oh, I already know, but I guess you're about to find out. Looking forward to seeing your A-game. <laughs> I think you overestimate your chances. Victory is as good as mine. I hope you'll be dazzled by my spectacular stage presence, Lady Elise. And assuming you'll be attending the after party this evening, it would be my pleasure to share a dance with Master Patrick. I suggest we hurry to the auditorium. Your classmates are waiting for you. If you'll excuse us, Master Reen, Lady Elise. <laughs> you go to school with some rather amusing people. I would have expected a son of one of the four great houses to be a lot less approachable than that. Well, class and titles can only tell you so much. Getting to know Eusis and Angelica really drove that home. At the end of the day, even the most distinguished nobles are more than just their family lineage. Though I can't really say Patrick and I are on the best of terms. Well, if not a good friend, at least he seems to make for a spirited rival, judging by your exchange back there. It's so nice to see all these places you mention in your letters, too. I guess you really did make the right decision coming here after all. Yeah, I really did. I feel lucky to have been chosen for Class 7, too. They can be an odd bunch, but I couldn't imagine my life without them now. <laughs> Thank you so much for showing me around. I wish we could spend longer together, but I know you're busy this afternoon. I'll be fine wandering around by myself for a few hours, so go on and start getting ready for your concert. Uh, I'm really sorry to have to leave you flying solo. And maybe a little nervous now. How many other well-heeled nobles are going to crawl out of the woodwork to escort you around the festival? Hmm. I appreciate your concern, but I'm not a child anymore, you know? Teehee! The two of you really are the portrait of sibling affection. What? I know that voice anywhere. Y your Highness! And Prince Oliver, too. Good afternoon, Your Highness. Position though it may be, I am the chairman of the board. It's only proper that I pay a visit. I would have liked to come yesterday as well, but I'm afraid I was tied up with a few official duties. Can you believe I had to beg him to take me along? But this is the festival! I couldn't miss it! In fact, I haven't seen you since we met at the summer festival. Right. It's a pleasure to see you again, Your Highness. Did you come as their escort, Captain? Basically. I was asked to step in on short notice to handle the security detail. I've been told Class 7 is performing a concert this afternoon. <laughs> Best of luck with that. Thanks. Oh yes, when will the concert be starting, by the way? I'm afraid I didn't have the time to do any research beforehand. They'll be starting around 3 p.m. Although I think another of the classes will be performing an operetta before that. Still, you could have at least told me you'd be coming. This isn't the first time you've done this. <laughs> well, I was hoping to catch the two of you clutching each other in the torrid embrace of forbidden love. It sounds like your concert is shaping up to be a grand time, though. Would you mind terribly if I tore off my shirt and leapt on stage to join you all midway through? Uh, we're mostly just amateurs when it comes to music, so I'm not sure that'd be such a good idea. 
You know, I don't see Major Vander around. Is he not with you today? Unfortunately not. You've probably heard a few rumblings about it already. There's been another development in the Crossbell situation today. I thought so. The Imperial Army is considering military action, aren't they? Well, try not to worry yourself about that right now. If it helps put you at ease, I can't really see there being a war, regardless of what happens. The gulf in military power between our two nations is far too wide. It would be suicide for them to try to fight us. The Calvert Republic isn't standing idle either. So I imagine it'll end up a deadlock between superpowers. Under ordinary circumstances, I probably would have passed on coming today. But I thought that coming here with Alfin might actually alleviate tensions. Governor Regnitz, Rufus, and Chairman Arena are all here as well. I would presume they share the same opinion. Right now, you've got a concert to give. And I want you to focus all your energies on making it one to remember. Not for me or Alfin, or even for your schoolmates. Do it for yourself. Thank you, Your Highness. We'll give it all we have up there today. What's all this chit-chatting over here, you two? Care to let us in on your little gentleman's club? And spill the secrets of our man-to-man -man bonding? Perish the thought. Anyway, Alfin and I would be happy to escort Elise around while you're indisposed. We'll bring her along to your concert, of course, so you needn't worry about a thing. Thank you, Your Highness. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Good luck. I'll be praying for your success. <laughs> I look forward to seeing you shine up there on the stage. Was incredible. Well, I'm impressed. I had no idea how much work they put into this. <laughs> well, I have to confess, it's better than I'd anticipated. That's going to be one tough act to follow. Can we really measure up? Now I'm not so sure. Are people really going to be into our songs after seeing a performance like that? wishy-washy on me now. If your rehearsals are anything to go by, you're gonna bring down the house. You really think so? She's right. We'll be fine. Our concert packs more than enough impact. Don't overthink this too much. You just gotta believe. <laughs> this is no time to start doubting ourselves. What more can we give than our best? Well, hopefully, all those practice sessions help us get it right when we're in the spotlight. As soon as Class 1 clears out their set in props, we need to start setting everything up. Roger. I'm so excited I could explode! We're coming in, okay? Toa? George? Here to give a little comfort to the weary soldiers fighting the good fight? <laughs> I'll let you be the judge of that. <laughs> Actually, we have a special guest who insisted on seeing you. Coming in. <laughs> huh? It couldn't be. Uh, Angelica? <laughs> Looks like I made it just in time for the main event. Kinda disappointed I missed the operetta, though. Heard class one was really on fire. You made it! Just barely. But man, when did you get to be such a babe? <laughs> well, a good suit and tie are more to my taste. But this was part of the deal I made with my dad to let me come. 
He said I could visit the festival if I agreed to meet a few prospective candidates for an arranged marriage. So, here I am, dress and all. He better get a good look now. Who knows when I'll wear something like this again. <laughs> well, if that's your aim, you're certainly dressed for victory. Yeah, but I think it might draw out your charm a little too well. Most normal people would take one look at you and think you're completely out of their league. <laughs> you do look lovely, though. <laughs> Thanks, but honestly, I've got nothing on the rest of you fair maidens. Angelica! Ah, nothing like the pure, fresh scent of a woman. All I've had to look at since going back home is my dad's grumpy old face. I'm in heaven right now. Oh, good grief. Well, I suppose some things never change. Come on, Angie. I've got my fix. Time to move on to my little ladies. Oh, so warm, so soft. <laughs> that tickles! I should have seen this coming. Angie, don't get too carried away now. You do know they could file a sexual harassment claim, right? Good to have her back. I'm so glad she managed to make it after all. Looks like the winds are favoring us today. I'm looking forward to your concert. From what I hear, you've got quite the show in store for all of us. Don't go getting yourselves too wound up. Just remember what you practice, put your all into it, and I'm sure the audience will be right there along with you. Yeah, it's your time to shine. Go on and have the time of your lives, guys. Good luck out there. That's good. Thank you for your patience, everyone. Next, our Academy's very first Class 7 is proud to present a concert. of Class 7's performance. Thank you all for coming out. Uh, um, what? 
Ladies and gents, you've been a wonderful crowd. And we've heard your cheers loud and clear. So without further ado, I give you our third and final song. Join in! Exhausted. I'm hungry. I can't feel my feet. I guess that qualifies as a success then, right? Well, the crowd here seemed pretty enthusiastic. <sighs> as if I had the mental energy to care about what the crowd thought. <laughs> I suppose that's the difference between professional musicians and amateurs like us. I don't think you guys need to worry. We did just fine. I'll say. The audience's reaction to our encore piece was even better than I'd hoped for. <laughs> I guess your plan paid off then. <sighs> A sorry sight you lot are. Patrick? Oh, it's you. Honestly. This is what bothers me so much about this class. I know you're tired. We're all tired. But that doesn't excuse this level of indolence. <laughs> what concern is it of yours? <laughs> At 
least you could let us bask in the afterglow of our performance before the moment fades. Still, I gotta hand it to you guys. You really pulled out all the stops for that operetta. It was really something. You could take that act to the theater and perform to a sold-out crowd. <laughs> Great casting, too. Paris fit her role to a T. I wasn't sure what to expect, but I really enjoyed it. You did? Well, I can't say I'm surprised, though. <laughs> Given the raw level of talent on display, who'd expect anything less than perfection? Wait, are you mocking me? If you're all languid and moping around, how do you think we feel? Show a little dignity, at least. Hmm? What are you going on about? Aha! Uh -huh. We did it, didn't we? Oh. Pulling that third song out of nowhere is hardly what I'd call fair play. You even had me singing along. I, I, I can't even consider our little wager still valid after that. Good, good day. What was that all about? I'm not even sure. It didn't seem like he came here just to thumb his nose at us. Congrats, everyone! You did it! Huh? What brings you all here? Is something wrong? You guys are so worn down, you totally forgot, didn't you? Remember a certain little poll where festival attendees get to vote on their favorite attraction? Well, the results are in. Oh. Now that you mention it... We were so busy, I completely forgot about that. So wait, did we...? They just finished counting up all the votes from the students and the visitors. Good numbers all around, but classes one and seven were the clear favorites. And this year's winner, with 1,512 votes, is Class 7's concert! Oh! Huh. Congrats, guys. Well... At least that's over. Aw, oh, come on, is that it? That's all the enthusiasm you can muster? Well, after seeing all the other attractions for myself, I feel almost as proud of the other classes as I do us. For what it's worth, my brother and Charles seem to have had a great time. Mishy Panic was an unsung gem. Now that it's over, it feels a little... unsportsmanlike for us to be the only ones boasting about our achievements. Agreed. If anything, seeing everyone having a good time feels like a victory for the whole Academy. <laughs> yep. Every student should feel proud about these last two days. Anyway, I'm here to shake you desk potatoes out of your listless post-festival comas. Or have you forgotten that we still have the after-party to enjoy? Oh yeah, there's that. I totally forgot. It's a tradition to close out the festival with a big party for the students, their friends, and their families. There's gonna be bonfires, right? And dancing? <laughs> well, don't just sit there. Everyone's waiting for you. All the bonfires are set up too, so just make your way over whenever you're ready. Okay, I think we can muster up the energy for one last event today. What do you say we head on over and enjoy the party? Right. Oh. Father are still here. My dad too. And my brother, though I can't imagine why. 
Elliot, Crow. I just wanted to thank you for everything you've done for us. <laughs> you mean for the concert? What brought that on? You got so serious there, I was getting kind of scared. It's just that our performance today never would have been possible without the two of you guiding it along. I wanted to make sure that you knew how much I appreciate you doing that. Damn, man. Is making people feel awkward a hobby of yours or something? Aw, oh, it's no big deal. Besides, it was a real team effort. Everyone played a part. I mean, look at you. You were a fountain of good advice through this whole thing. And honestly, I should be the one thanking everyone. Huh? You all helped me rediscover just how much music means to me. Because it's not just about performing by myself. It's about performing together, playing off each other's strengths to make something wonderful. So I should be the one thanking you. This never would have happened if I didn't come to this academy. Elliot. Holy hell, are you guys trying to see who can make me cringe the hardest? Elliot, my boy! Your father's arms are ready and waiting for you to leap into them! <sighs> Does he always have to say that stuff so loudly? Sorry, I'll see you later, okay? Yeah, later. This year's festival's been a blast. I'm kind of hoping we can do the same thing next year, too. Though, who knows if Class 7 is even going to exist next year. Hmm. Crow? Oh, uh, yeah. Generally, people stay in the same class from their first day to their graduation, but... Class 7's basically one giant exception to everything the school's ever done, so... Who knows? I guess that has its pluses and its minuses. But no matter what, it's not going to be the same. We won't have you. If I manage to graduate, at least. Barring any nasty surprises, I'll be in class seven till the end of the month. Which means our time as classmates is almost up. Now that you mention it, yeah. Hmm. <sighs> We'll have to see if we can throw you a farewell party around the end of the month, then. Can't let you off easy. <laughs> Come on, it's no big deal. Trust me, you're still gonna see more than enough of me next year. Sure, I'll have moved out of the dorms, but I'll be sure to stop by once a week to steal some of Sharon's cooking. You better. Oh, and by the way, I'm not going to have to call you Mr. Armbrust or anything after you graduate, am I? I mean, we've spent so much time together that treating you like a proper adult just wouldn't feel right. <laughs> of course not. And if I ever catch you calling me Mr. Armbrust again, I'm gonna smack you. Oh, yeah. Guess it's about time I gave you this back. Isn't this... completely forgot about it. You've done so much for me since then. Saving Elise, helping with the concert. Compared to all that, 50 Mira is nothing. <laughs> the feeling's mutual. Besides, I never return the mirror that I borrow. Makes that coin extra special. So go on, take it. I... Oh, by the way. You know there was interest on this, right? How much do you suppose you really owe me after half a year? Oh man, what kind of racket are you running here anyway? I thought you were supposed to be a good kid. Well, there's this one second year who's taught me a thing or two about making money. To be honest, it feels kind of lonely to think that everything between us is completely settled and done with. So, what do you say? You still owe me? I swear, the things I do for love. 
All right, all right. You'll get your stupid interest someday. Maybe. Alfin, I am drawn to the party before us like a moth to a flame, like a starving man to a banquet, like beauty to me. What say you we grace the dancers with the gift of our company? <laughs> it's as though you read my mind. Now, don't waste your time watching. It's time to dance. <laughs> no need to worry about formalities tonight. Let's all relax, enjoy ourselves, and maybe let a few secrets slip. Allow me, Sharon, before every red blooded boy in this school lines up for a chance. <laughs> It would be my honor. Madam Chairman, might I have this dance? <laughs> of course. Given that our former partners left the dance all too soon, we seem to make for an appropriate pair. <laughs> I suppose you're right. Instructor, I cannot thank you enough for all you've done for my daughter. I can, however, ask you for the pleasure of this dance. Really? Ooh, he's just my type, too. Hmm? Oh, just talking to myself. Well, I'll be dancing with all my little kittens by the end of the night. But I suppose I can let you take the first dance. Well, I don't mind. But seeing you in that dress is enough to make any guy feel intimidated. They waste no time, do they? It's no surprise that my grandfather made a beeline for Sharon, but I never expected to see Mother dancing. <laughs> in some ways, it seems as though they're younger than we are. Looks like everyone's having fun, though. Shall we join them? You've given me more than enough of your time already today. Between showing me around and your incredible concert, you must be exhausted. And besides, I'm sure there's someone else you'd rather dance with here. Why not us them instead? I knew it! So, I have a potential sister-in-law now, do I? Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Still, maybe you're right. Maybe I will go ask her. I do feel kind of bad leaving you here on your own, though. I'm fine, really! Besides, if you spend all this time worrying about me, the music will be over by the time you ask. Well, okay. He's such an idiot. Ah, oh, Elise. Your Highness? generally accepted strategy here would be to keep his eyes on you, not push him toward another girl's tender embrace. If you were to only gather the courage to ask him, I'm certain that he would be 
More than accommodating. It's fine. I'm fine, honestly. Laura? Oh, Reen. Perfect timing. Would you like to dance? Huh? <laughs> My father and instructor Sarah make for rather impressive dancing partners. Watching them makes me want to go up and dance myself. <laughs> to be honest, I came over here ready to ask you the same thing. Oh? Still, since the guy traditionally asks the girl, I might as well. Would you like to dance with me? <laughs> I'd be delighted. Was exhausting. <laughs> well, I didn't imagine either of us would have much energy left over after our performance. Still, that didn't keep dancing with you from being a lot of fun. I don't get the chance to dance very often, especially at big events like this. <laughs> My family's the same way. We might be nobles, but we're not exactly a common sight at high society gatherings. I suppose this was a new experience for the both of us then. Attending this academy has given me the chance to see sides of myself that I didn't even know existed. Same here. When I first enrolled in this academy, I wanted nothing more than to improve my swordsmanship. But when I arrived, I met people whose values differed wildly from my own. People like you and Fee. That allowed me to see the world in ways I never considered. To see myself in ways I never considered. Thanks to you and our other classmates, I've gained far more than combat training, and I am truly grateful. <laughs> You're making me blush. I feel the same way, though. How so? At least you had something in mind when you enrolled. My decision to come here was half-hearted at best, but I know now that it was the right choice. If I hadn't joined this academy, I never would have met you or any of our other classmates. Reen. Besides, you and I have something even closer than our other classmates. We're both followers of the Way of the Sword, and we keep pushing each other beyond our limits. I'm grateful for that. As am I. And I suppose that's enough for now. Huh? <laughs> Don't worry, it's nothing. I'm glad that the two of us have another year to train alongside each other. Likewise. After that, I went back to see Elise. But by then, that memorable evening was approaching its end. Reen? Elise? Claire? Good evening, Captain. You must be exhausted. <laughs> oh, well, it's not as though I performed on stage in front of an auditorium full of people or anything. I really enjoyed your concert, by the way. That's the kind of thing that makes me proud to be an alumnus. Wait, what? You're a student here? That's right. I was part of the Academy's 216th graduating class. And since you'll be part of its 221st, I suppose that makes me five years your senior. I, I had no idea. Why didn't you mention it until just now? Given that we only ever met while you were on your field studies, it didn't seem pertinent. Besides, 
once people graduate, they tend to leave their ties to their school behind, especially here at Thor's. Because it's a military academy? Exactly. Roughly 40% of the graduates here go on to join the military. Not always the same branch or even the same army. About 30% join the Imperial Army, and 10% go to a provincial force. Students who are best friends one day might find themselves enemies the next. Reen. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to kill your happy mood like this. But I'm sure you're well aware of what may lie ahead. That we're teetering on the brink of an era of upheaval. I'm aware. Um, does this have something to do with the issues in Crossbell I've been hearing about? Yes, amongst other things. It seems as though everyone on the continent is ready to go to war with everyone else. But that's why it's so important that we're able to stand strong no matter what happens. Though, judging by how well Class 7 has performed on their field studies, I'm sure you'll all be fine in that regard. <laughs> Here's hoping that I get the chance to help you out again sometime. Even if I'll have to be careful not to draw the ire of that instructor of yours while I'm doing so. <laughs> I'm just glad to know that you have her back. Thank you for that. <laughs> You're quite well... Please, excuse me a moment. Yes, Revelt speaking. Mm-hmm. What? What's going on? And you're certain of this? Understood. I'll return at once. Yes, I will escort them back to Valflame Palace myself. I'm afraid I have to excuse myself. requested that we return to Heimdall right away. But as we're going back by car, I thought I'd offer you a ride home. B but Elise, I think you should go back with them for now. I'll call you later to make sure you're okay. Well, all right. Sorry to drop this on you so quickly, Reed. I'm sure someone from the Academy will fill you in shortly. Fill me in? On what? If you'll excuse us. Don't worry. We'll be sure to get Elise back to the Academy safely. Does anyone have any idea what's going on? I'm afraid not. I've never seen Father behave like that before. My mother's the same way. She got a message of some kind and just changed. Ditto my father. I think it was someone from Heimdall who got in touch with him. One thing is certain. Something terrible has happened. My dad turned pale and was gone before I could ask what happened. It sounded like he received a report from Instructor Neidhart, though. Hold on. Nightheart's supposed to be... He was at Corellia Fortress with the 4th Armored Division on some sort of mission, right? Speaking of which, has anyone seen Toa or Instructor Sarah? Students and visitors, I cannot thank you enough for your attendance today. I hereby proclaim the 127th Thor's Military Academy Festival complete.
but I am afraid I must announce this with a heavy heart, as we have just received word from the Imperial government that this evening, Garelia Fortress, which rests on the eastern border of the Empire, has been destroyed. No, destruction is an inadequate word. An unknown weapon has erased the fortress in its entirety from existence. I would ask that all of our guests, from that region or otherwise, please try to remain calm. 